Hi there, greetings from Belgium. Battle JRL here, and today I'm standing in front of my movie library. Uh, I haven't posted anything in a while, so I thought I would give you a tour of my entire DVD and Blu ray collection. Um, I live in a small apartment, so my space is very limited. I used the second bedroom uh, and converted it to my DVD and Blu ray room, but it's a little bit crowded. You'll see when I open the door. There you go. The first thing you'll see, let's take a look, is this bad boy. Yes, it's my newest addition to the room and it takes it takes a lot of place. But yeah, I, I, I think it's awesome. I didn't, didn't like the movie, Terminated Genesis. But this is something I had to pick up. I work in the movie theater as a projectionist. So uh, I got this for free. The cool thing about it, it's a pretty thick one. Cool thing about it, there's power. So when I plug this bad boy in, there you go. Now that's awesome. That's pretty awesome. Uh, it's got UV LED lights, I mean, right in there. You can see them. There they are. And it, it has like a, a double, double screen, so when the lights That's awesome, but as you can see, this standy takes up my entire room. Uh, it, I can still reach everything. I mean, these are my DVDs. I can reach them. I can go behind them, and I can still pretty much reach everything. But it just takes a lot of place. I am hoping when I when I move into a bigger house someday, I will find a nicer spot for this. But for now, uh, for this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it out of the room because it's obscuring everything. So I'm gonna remove it now. There it is. So that took a lot more effort than I thought it would. Let me just close that one. And now you can see the entire room. Which I'm gonna take a look at right now. Uh, my room is divided in the Blu-ray section on the left. These are all Blu-rays. And the DVD section on the right, which goes all the way to here. The only exception is this one here. Those are also DVDs. The rest, all of them Blu-ray, right up to there. Those three boxes are DVDs. And then this is all DVD. I'm just gonna start in the corner. Um, first thing, my little ladder, which I use uh, to reach the top boxes because I'm not that tall. Um, and over here, these DVDs are all doubles that I'm selling right now. So, still a lot to sell. Um, behind that is a Jurassic Park 3D poster. Again, I got this from work. And Transformers Dark of the Moon poster. And there's another poster back here. If you can see it, it's The Dark Knight Rises. And if you can see, there's another poster back here. And because I didn't have all this when I hung the poster up, uh, it's a Titanic 3D poster. So yeah, it's a little shame that this one is showing. And Titanic not, but what you gonna do? Then the next thing you see is um, a row of DVDs. These are this is my DVD collection of Disney movies. These are all my Disney movies. These are the Disney treasures, all of them. And a little Donald Duck. Go, I was falling. 
more Disney DVDs. There you go. You probably already noticed there's a lot of figurines and stuff in here, so I'm gonna talk about them also. Uh, I'm a big Toy Story fan. I think that's obvious. Um, I've got an entire collection here. There's Cirque. This is the newest I got, Slinky. There's Rex. A plush bull bullseye. There's Lotso. He even smells like strawberries, which is awesome. Um, there's Jesse and Woody. Uh, except for Lotso and Bullseye, um, they're all speaking figurines, so that's awesome. Uh, there is Buzz. He's over there. Uh, I'm put it. <laughs> I've put him this low because I really don't want him to fall. He's he's not that stable, so he's gonna break us if he falls from up there. Then you've got anger. Ah! Awesome. Then we've got a little. This is something I've got for my childhood. Is the piggy bank from Dalmatians. Yeah, we got ham. That's Mr. Pricklepants. From Beauty and the Beast. I got this a long time ago. There's the alien. My cat bit off this thing on top. It's a... Uh, it's shampoo. And there we've got uh, the mare from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, which has uh, a hat that spins around. So yeah, that's my that's my Disney DVD. How did I order them? Uh, first, I've got all the classics. Um, here in in Belgium, we we have this kind of numbering they have these in other countries as well but it's not always the same because we have Mary Poppins in there and I don't think the UK or the US has Mary Poppins classified as a Disney classic but I do over here we do uh, pet knobs and broomsticks same thing Pete's Dragon we even have the Wild considered as a Disney classic number 50 which is very odd because that's not even a real Disney movie so yeah, got all the classics first Sleeping Beauty special box couldn't put it in there um, and then we go over to Pixar's they go up there those are the Disney treasures more Pixar and then we just alphabetically go further more movies and my own little DVD I made from when I was in Disneyland. <laughs> Next up you got we're starting to get to the Blu-rays here. Uh, first there's this little cupboard. Um, these have all kinds of PlayStation related uh, stuff. I'm a, I'm a gamer also so I have some PlayStation 1 games, PlayStation 2 games an extra DVD uh, Blu-ray player and my hard drives that's all in here um, I'm a gamer so uh, I only play PlayStation so this this entire middle section here is almost entirely made of game boxes and stuff so uh, yeah I have a lot of games my PlayStation 3 games are in the living room so I'm not gonna show you those um, Okay, then you have Blu-ray boxes. 
they go up there and there that's all blu-ray box sets see the predator box set harry potter et with the spaceship then you got alien right there and in front of it i've got a alien versus predator figurine that's a predator and you got a couple of eggs i believe there yeah there's a face hugger in all of them and a light this lights up but i always yeah, i'm gonna do that later there's not a face hugger here that's pretty awesome so i figured I have Predator right here, Alien, so I gotta put this in front. There's my Rambo Grenade box set. This is my Jurassic Park box set with the T-Rex. There's a Gremlin here. And there's another Gremlin there. And there's my Gremlin box set with the Gizmo, plush Gizmo. That's Back to the Future box set with the DeLorean. That's the Dark Knight Rises and it's a little glary. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, Clint Eastwood collection and another Clint Eastwood collection. And up there is Terminator Salvation with, with the motorcycle. That's also a bad movie, but what are you gonna do? So that's this row. Those are my biggest box sets, and this is probably this is the most expensive thing I bought. That's that's in this room, the Harry Potter collection. So yeah, then we have this row. More box sets. I'm planning to get another shelf. On top there, so I can put the box sets on top, and I have another new space. So yeah, but for the moment I still have a plenty of space. So more box sets. These are a couple of series. It goes all the way to there. And these are the Universal Digi books. Um, I will probably do a, a video about each one separately where I show them all uh, in the future. Then we have this row, these are all steel books. Yeah, a few. I've got a couple of these sticking out. These are uh, the movies I still need to see. So that a lot of people find this weird, but I I need to see them all. So I I just take them out like this, and when I saw them, I put them in. It's my little way of remembering which one I saw, so that I never forget one. I, I I've done this for my steel books and the rest of my Blu-rays. DVDs not so much. I've given up on those, but. I really want to watch all of them, so I haven't done it with the box sets because I can pretty much remember which one I saw. Okay, then next row we've got an entire row dedicated to Disney again. Uh, first we got this, these frozen figurines. My girlfriend wanted those, so I bought them. Yeah, there's the Disney Blu-rays. Again with the numbering, and again with the wild being a classic over here, and Winnie the Pooh never came out. Yeah, and then we have the Pixar movies. I ordered them uh, from the year they came out, so not Toy Story 1, 2 and 3 next to each other. And that's the Pixar shorts, shorts and the cartoons. 
and then yeah, we have the regular Disney uh, Christmas Carol so from A alphabetical through here uh, these are the Marvel movies since it's, it's technically Disney now I thought I'd put it here, okay this this one's not Disney but it needs to be uh, it needs to be there and then we have Studio Ghibli which is also technically Disney now I haven't watched a lot of my Ghibli's <laughs> and then down here next row these are all BBC Earths I started collecting them about a year ago I became a really big fan of uh, the first one I saw right here Planet Earth uh, and I just I wanted them all especially the David Attenborough there's another David Attenborough DVD shelf right there so uh, yeah these are all nature documentaries from BBC Earth so this one this is not BBC Earth it's from Sky TV Sky 3D so yeah I've got pretty much everyone ever all the single one release I've got and then we move on to the real blu-rays these are all alphabetical starting with 12 angry men all the way down there this is the last one put this one these on on the end here western movies I I wanted them all together to be together so this is the only exception to the alphabetical order yeah that's the end of my blueprint as you can see I have a lot of space left there's probably some 300 more blu-rays that I can buy um, that's, this, that's a Jurassic World poster not a little poster and don't even know what that is uh, home movies that's not that these are my CD soundtracks I haven't got a lot of them as you can see and then I have two 8 millimeters a German version of the rescuers there you go super 8 that's a super 8 and this Popeye short Popeye and the baseball match yeah I found them for 5 euros so I had to pick them up then down here are some uh, 35 millimeter trailers I got from work and um, these are Turkish trailers uh, trails of Turkish movies Damn. this is Twilight the trailer not very proud of that so yeah that's my my blu-rays there's more blu-rays up there more box sets and the end right there those three are DVD box sets okay let me just go down here here are some big posters um, I have like, like more than a hundred posters in my garage but I just keep the big ones here and there you have my dart feeder. Oh yeah, he got a lot of um, frozen flags again. Got these from work. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a Captain America right there, and a Maleficent also got these from work then I've got this middle section here um, dedicated to games most of it um, 
I'm a big Assassin's Creed fan, as you can see, so I have a couple of Assassin's Creed figurines and box sets. I actually keep all the games in here. There. So that's Assassin's Creed. And we got probably my favorite one of the of the puppets in here. Uh, my alien queen. This is just awesome. The only thing is it, it can't it's very unstable. So I'm always scared it might fall. It's supported by this little stick right here. Oh, yeah. But that's just awesome. It's it's bendable in every way. But I'm afraid to touch it. <laughs> Back there, there's a little Lego. I'm a big Lego fan. But this one's my girlfriend's. Um, it's Rapunzel. From Tangled. And then here, you've got The Simpsons House. Which is pretty awesome, if you ask me. Probably my favorite Lego piece ever made. Okay then, I'm just gonna go down there. This is my Tomb Raider collection. I'm a, it's my favorite game Tomb Raider, my favorite franchise. I've got this figurine right here. With the Eddie. There's a game right there. PlayStation 2 games. And that's a box set of the reboots. And down here, more. These are my PlayStation 1 games. Some more figurines. A lot of Lara. <laughs> then we go to the right. It's just my Watch Dogs collection. A box set, not a collection. It's one game. Then you get Bioshock. A Bioshock figurine still in the box. And Evil Within. And little coasters of Batman and Star Wars. Those are strategy guides from Assassin's Creed. Those Uncharted 3 and The Last of Us. This is my Skyrim box. Very glary. So, hi me. This is my Alien Colonial Marines. It's very hard to see. Uh, not a good game. Last of Us. And over here we have my Lego DeLorean. Just awesome. That Sniper, Metal Gear Solid, Splinter Cell, and Mass Effect. Then my Robocop, which is again there we go. Soap. This is from when I was little, so that's very old. And then two rows of which I couldn't really fill with anything important, so I got my Disney plush. These are all from uh, Disneyland in Paris, from the Disney store. So yeah, that's this bunch. I've got, I've got a lot more PlayStation 3 games, about 200 of them, but they're not in this room, so yeah. Then, we have a Star Wars Episode 1 poster there, and another one here, with, you can see it, it's a Bulba. Then, my DVDs. Oh, first I got this row, here you got Jack Sparrow, there's another Predator. Thor and the Schwarzenegger. Yo, standing here very close together. I, I really need to have a bigger apartment. Okay. 
that's another Lego set. And another great Lego set, it's Lego Theater. It's a little limousine here. And a figurine I got with the Lego Jurassic World game. It's Henry Wu. Yeah, that's awesome. And over here we have the animated Batman. We have the Michael Keaton Batman. And we have Beetlejuice. So that's awesome. And up there We have Simon Peck from Shaun of the Dead and Mars Attacks. Right there, that's a poster from, if you can guess, The Avengers. There is also a Hobbit poster behind behind these two, but I didn't have these two, so uh, yeah, now it's really invisible. I don't think you can. No, I can't see it. It's hidden. In a couple of years when I move out, I'll be surprised there is an Hobbit poster there. So, that's Iron Man. Little figurine. There we got my Oscar and a little dive, uh, yeah, insurgent keychain. Over here is something I picked up in Vegas when I was there two years ago it's a piece of coal from the Titanic yeah it was a Titanic exhibition so I had to grab something and down there very much in the corner is Anakin Skywalker battling a Battled right there with a with broken lightsabers. Yeah, figures. Okay, um, first I'm gonna go up there. Again, all DVD box sets. I'm probably gonna do a video about them someday. So I pretty much stacked, stacked though. This is that great thing there that's James Bond <laughs> oh yeah it's not that important because I've got the blu-ray set right there um, so yeah I stacked those behind here is another friends box set I can't cover this up because I have another one right here. And the uncut version. This big box set up goes all the way up there. That's only season 1 through 8, so this is the entire collection. And uncut. So, yeah. I'm gonna do a video about all of that someday. And the first row is my series. These are all TV shows. Uh, I stack them in a really weird way. Um, it saves a lot of place. Every box set that has the name on top of them, on top of it, I can stack like, like this. So that it really saves a lot of place. Uh, these ones, and yeah, they don't have a name on top, so I have to put them like this. So yeah. I haven't got a lot of series, uh, still a lot, but I'm not really a, a watcher of TV shows. So my Simpsons collection really bummed that they stopped bringing those out. So yeah, I don't watch a lot of TV shows, but there it is. Then on the next. We have all my box sets, 
just box sets of movies. And that goes and ends with Lord of the Rings. Uh, these are not alphabetical, uh, the series are not either. They're just random because it's, it's not that much I can pretty much find anything very quickly. And then on the bottom, last two shelves, these are all weird movies. It's my weird movie collection. These are all exploitation films of the 60s, 70s, some 80s. Uh, and these are all Asian movies, most of them are. Uh, Asian gore splatter movies. Here we got Cannibal Holocaust is in there. So those kind of movies. Again, a couple of weird movies uh, that are really hard to find. Ending with the Ilsa collection. So also not alphabetical. Okay, then we move on. This is the rest of my DVDs. It goes all the way up here. Um, these are all alphabetical, starting there in 1941, going like that, and going like that, that, that and that. And then the next one here. Um, again, a lot of space saving right here. Some of these are pretty hard to get out. They're pretty squeezed together so uh, it takes some effort to get some some of these movies. And for some reason on this row I never can fit another one. I can never fit another one. It's, it's the same here. These are over here. I can I can lay them flat, but over here they, as you can see, just pretty much stuck. So I don't know what gives. It's only on that row. So yeah, I will go over these in another video sometime and you've got this muck I've got mucks all over the place uh, it's a Marvel Comics I've got a Jaws muck Back to the Future muck Dark Knight Rises yes Dark Knight Rises Harry Potter and there's one in here for Return of the Jedi yeah. and then we skip this one for a second my DVDs go on there there we get your Harry Potter Every Flavor Beans I haven't tasted this one but according to uh, to the flavors up here, it's it's vomit flavor acid. It. But I'm scared to try these. Right there. Then you've got a DeLorean and Assassin's Creed Monopoly. Yes, that's the thing. Here, some Star Wars vehicles, and that's empty space for more. Yeah, I got these from work. Photographs, Franken, Franken Weenie, and Weenie the Pooh. Don't know where to put them, so I put them here. Okay. 
And on top here we have a little Ariel. Is it Ariel? Yes, it's Ariel. Statue from uh, what's it called? The Disney Showcase Collection. That's for my good friend. And a Minnie Mouse teacup. Teapot. Not a cup. I have more Disney collections. Uh, and uh, this one's pretty awesome. It's the Mickey Mouse, the golden years in Dutch right there. These are all the comics. Got three of them now. They're they are gonna release twelve of them. And I really gotta address this. This pisses me off when they can't even put the numbering in the right order or in the right place. Or it's fine, it's one, two, three. But the right place. I. Why did it do that? Maybe because the drawing starts here. I don't know why they put. So I'm scared for the next releases. But yeah. Then over here, that's my Battle Royale collection. <laughs> that's obvious. My favorite movie ever made. I've got the Blu-ray here. This is the VHS, the steel case of Battle Royale 2, Director's Cut Battle Royale, regular version DVD, and the second one. Then you have the soundtrack without the cover. That's an eBay mistake right there. And you've got the manga. The book, another manga, and a photo book, just a book with pictures. So yeah, Battle Royale. Then down here we have, if you can see this, it's the David Attenborough collection. I'm a big fan of David Attenborough, so yeah, obvious. And then we have some more Star Wars vehicles. We have the Star Wars trilogy on VHS, the special editions, and some Star Wars glasses. So, yeah. Oh, up there Plush Mickey, the Broom, Jiminy Cricket, Jack Skeleton, and E.T. from Universal Studios Hollywood. Go. And the Ginny Weasley wand. So yeah, that's a, a quick look, or well, not really a quick look, but that's a look at my collection. I will make videos where I will show them separately for the ones interested in which Blu-rays I own. So yeah, that's it, my entire collection. Uh, excuse my bad English, it's not my native tongue. So yeah, hope to see you again in another video. Take care now, bye bye.